Hi there, and welcome back to the future of documents. I'm Holt Skinner, and I'm a developer advocate for Google Cloud. Document AI comes with general processors designed to process just about any document you can throw at it. However, machine learning models produce the best results the more niche and specialized they are. So in this episode, we'll take a look at DocAI's specialized processors that are designed to handle one or more specific document types. Currently, Document AI offers four main categories of specialized processors. These are procurement, identity, lending, and contracts. Let's dive into each of these. And you can find the most up-to-date list of specialized processors in the cloud documentation. Procurement processors are designed to handle documents used for purchases and payments. These include a splitter classifier to identify types of documents, even if there are multiple documents in the same file, an invoice parser to process invoices in many different formats, an expense parser for handling receipts, and a utility parser for handling utility bills. Next up, we have identity processors. These cover documents that can be used to verify identity. For example, state and federal ID cards, passports, or other travel documents. We also have an experimental processor for detecting fraudulent identity documents. Next up, we have lending processors. These are processors designed to handle standard forms used in the United States mortgage loan industry. Currently, these include a lending splitter and classifier, which identifies documents that can be handled by the lending processors. And there are dedicated parsers for standard government forms like W-2s, W-9s, and 1099s. There are also processors for bank statements, payslips, and more. Last up, we have contracts, currently in preview. This solution allows for extracting and understanding entities that are specific to business contracts, such as agreement date, effective date, renewal term, and parties. Now that you've got a taste for the specialized parsers, let's dive into what happens under the hood when you make a process document API call. Suppose you have a stack of invoices from multiple vendors and multiple formats, or maybe a mortgage packet with multiple tax forms and statements. DocAI does some prep work. It can handle tilted and damaged pages, no problem. Then it reads in the raw text using OCR. Next, if you're using a splitter and classifier, it would identify the separate documents here. Then you can split and send each document to the appropriate processor. Now, this is where I think one of the most interesting differentiators occurs. With specialized processors, you can get the entities from the document in a standard schema. For example, with files like receipts and invoices that don't really have a standard format, the model can detect which text corresponds to the merchant name, line items, taxes, etc., and returns the values with the same key every time. Let's look at another really neat feature, entity normalization. Normalization can provide data such as addresses, dates, and money in a standard format. This helps keep your data consistent, even with the many ways of notating this information. Let's look at an example of how extraction works with specialized processors. In this case, we'll use driver's licenses from multiple states. Each state driver's license represents the ID number a little bit differently. If we needed to extract this ID field using just OCR or the form parser, we'd need special handling for every single format out there. But that's the magic of specialized processors. They return a uniform structure for a document type regardless of the underlying layout, which makes post-processing much easier. Now onto enrichment. Certain specialized parsers integrate with the Google Knowledge Graph, which can link up the data in the document to real-world entities. For example, it can use data from Google Maps to detect the supplier name address on a receipt and connect it with the full data provided by Google Maps. Last but not least, you can trigger a human reviewer if your whole document or certain entities do not meet a minimum confidence value. This lets you get that last mile of accuracy. Let's take a look at how this data is presented in the document object structure. For specialized processors, the extracted information will be in the entities field. Type indicates the key from a standardized schema, like address or ID number. Mention text is the raw text value for the detected entity. Confidence gives how sure the model is that the values are correct. Normalized value contains the normalized and enriched data for supported processors. And properties contains any nested entities. You can explore the document object structure and sample responses in the cloud documentation. Here's an example of a detected entity. In this case, we are analyzing an invoice using the invoice parser. For this sample invoice, we can see that the invoice parser identified the receiver name and address, even though they aren't labeled as such. This is mapping the data onto a standardized schema for invoices. For the normalized values, in addition to capturing the raw text in the date field, the processor also recognizes the text represents the 24th day of September in the year 2019. 
The unique part is that any invoice in the world will get normalized dates in this format, no matter what date format is used. For properties or nested entities, we can see that the invoice parser identifies the line items and is able to separate out the distinct components, such as unit price, description, and amount. Now it's your chance to try out Document AI specialized processors. The code lab linked in the description shows you how to create the processors, how to classify documents, and how to extract entities for all specialized processors. Today, we discuss specialized processors and how we can get deep insights from standard document types. We explored a typical specialized document workflow. We explored how specialized processors provide standardized schemas and normalized values to make post-processing easier. And we looked how to handle output from a specialized processor in the document object format. See you next time on The Future of Documents. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.